Might as well just start. Oh yeah, we have zero storage space. I have no idea where the microphone is, it's probably in the controller, so... Uh, let's just do balanced. Are you ready for a really disgusting cutscene? I doubt you are. All hail the cheese queen. Okay, this, uh, this next part is actually- this next bit is pretty gross, honestly. So if you're squeamish, look away. I goop. Gross. Who are you? Okay, so we are doing the Dark Urge Origin. And we are going to be. Should we be. Should we be like a tiefling? A drow? What should we do? Um... I think we're gonna do a tiefling. I love tieflings, personally. They are one of my favorite D&D &D races. Cause there's just like so much variety. Mage Hand! Um... Shit, that's not what I meant to do. I like Mephistopheles' tieflings. Elf ears. Oh my gosh, I could actually, like, cosplay as my character if I figure out how to work the camera next time. Um... I think I'm gonna go with Zariel tiefling. Okay, so let's go through and I can give my description of each of these classes. Barbarians. Rage! Uh, tanks and meat shields. Music. Oh my god, wait, I have a recorder with me. <laughs> if, if I do a bard, I'm definitely going to bother everybody with my random recorder playing. Ah, yes, the healers. Furries. That's the best description of them. They can turn into animals, which is pretty cool. Uh, bonk. They, they hit things. Also bonk, but uh, with fists. Righteousness! <laughs> um, they try. That's <laughs> that's how you describe rangers. Sneaky thieves. They don't have to work for their power at all. Hacked. Smart. 
I am going to go with Bard, because I want to bother you all by randomly playing the recorder while playing the game whenever I cast a spell. I hate Blade Ward. I honestly do. I thought that was invisibility for a second, and I was like, what? what? Um, Vicious Mockery is one of my absolute favorite cantrips. Excuse me. Uh, it's just, like, really good. Okay. Healing Word. We're gonna get a Cleric right off the bat, so I don't really think we need this one. Um... Thunderwave, one of my other personal favorites. I never use these sorts of things. Even though they're useful, I never use them. And then Speak with Animals is almost always useful, or at the very least, funny. Because, like, you can talk to literally everything. We're doing a flute. <laughs> Ooh. I have not done a dirge campaign before, so this is, like, all new stuff to me. I haunted one. A wicked moment, person, or thing that cannot be slain by sword or spell haunts your mind and flickers in your peripheral vision. Peripheral. Per- per- I pronounced that. Peripheral. You carry it wherever your adventure takes you, or perhaps it carries you. Ooh, we get proficiencies in medicine and intimidation. Sorry, I was taking a drink. Um, that's cool. We need to be charismatic, of course, if we're if we're a bard. There's no need for strength. <laughs> um, this is like the opposite of me in real life. I have zero charisma and am strong. We need to take pluses in performance. Where is perf that's already got it. Nice. Okay, so... Yeah, these all look good. And now, to choose the appearance. Outright red. Ew, no. That's... Yes. Ooh. Those are cool. Hey, I think we're ready to go. I'm not gonna name them the Dark Urge. Should we just go with Classic Tav? I think we're just gonna do it. Tav. Cool. I literally don't care. Cool. Good day, sir. Bye. <laughs> Nari! <laughs> One of your brethren is dead. Oh, two of your brethren are dead. <laughs> I honestly can't believe how beautiful this game is. Like, it's crazy that the people almost look like real people. Especially in the cutscenes, it's absolutely wild. Look out. You're done for. 
That's so many stairs. I know it has to be high up so that people can like hear the bell. Bye. Um. But like, seriously. They're all being kidnapped. Run for your life! Also, the music in this is amazing. Wait, does the Nautiloid getting damaged hurt the Mind Flayers? I've seen this cutscene so many times, I never noticed him holding his shoulder. Puppy. Those are not dragons, they are sky puppies. You can't see me because I don't know how to set up visual, but I'm headbanging. I don't know what commentary to put in here. Uh... Lazel. That's who that Githyanki is. Gross. Mucus. I wonder why the Mind Flayers let them keep their armor and weapons. Cause like... What if a disaster happened and then they could kill you? I guess they suspected that like, they wouldn't be able to avoid Ceramorphosis or whatever the hell it's called. And we're in hell. How nice. Hey. I forgot about that imp. Just eating the camera. Shar and Luna. Kate didn't have enough time to read that. Standing in dark areas obscures you, making it harder for enemies to hit you. That's how light works. Why am I covered in blood? Ugh, these noises. The blood in your head thrums and pounds. Now this is new. The blood obscures who you are. An overwhelming loss of memory. How you ended up amidst these hellish flames is just as hidden. You have nothing in your skull besides your name and a headache. That's how I feel most days. You are in danger. Um. Say your name aloud. You have a part of yourself. Urge. Whatever that is, that is you. You will claw back the truth. But first, you have to claw your way out of here. That actually makes sense in this context. Because I have... Claws. Tiefling. Nursery. This is the pool that Bing came from. The parasite now writhing behind your eye. Yum. Let's investigate. First roll! Let's hope I don't... I don't know words. Yeah! Let's go! Everything is fragile. A 
the slightest touch could cause it to crumble. I'm going to touch it. Ah! <laughs> Dear Jesus. Someone else got out. Ooh. That's fun. Might still be stuck inside if we hadn't been attacked. That is very true. Is we're in hell, my guy. I don't think I've ever been up here before. Ooh, stuff. Always room for more. Visions project into your mind. A nautiloid hurtling through the plains, resplendent with psionic energy. Cool. Ooh! Treasure! Money! I found money! Now I know I haven't been up here before. I would have remembered money. I'm not that greedy in real life. I am a little bit. But not that greedy. Is this a dead guy? <gasps> Loot! Dead. Good. Yup. More treasure! Ooh. Damn, I'm gonna die. Don't you just love being a magic user? <laughs> Squishy. I feel better. <sighs> but because this is apparently a living thing we're in. I'm stealing your money, dead guy. into your mind. Nerves, sinews, as much living being as ship. Yeah. I know. It's alive! Ooh, books! I did not explore the Nautiloid a lot in my previous playthroughs, I guess. What's up here? like the way your voice you modulates. Is that the right word? Expectation. The way your voice, like, goes up and down in pitch and volume. Who? You sound afraid. Why? Okay, that did nothing. Who am I talking to? A man or a brain? You know no creature like this. One that is more brain than person. I think you're past the point of saving. Tell me what to do. Remove us from this body. From this case. Free us. Please. Um. I'm just gonna try to pull it. Might as well. Success! I love that I'm just so covered in blood. Lifts from the skull. But do you notice an opportunity? You could cripple the strange creature, making it more subservient, should it prove a threat. Your fingers twitch with the desire to rip its tender, moist meat to shreds. Um... No... Spare the creature, any injuries might weaken it. I don't trust that I won't kill it. So... Or are you just gonna go on the ground? Okay. Okay. 
Something behind your eyes seizes in recognition. We must go to the helm! At the helm, we are needed. Your voice freaks me out, man. Um, what's at the helm? As though querying an unseen advisor. Do you not hear it? We will not survive here. We are needed to navigate. We are needed to leave this realm. What should I call you? Us. We are us. Fair? I guess? Alright, let's go then. We are going to the home. Us, you make me uncomfortable, but- Oh, you're decent. What was that? Uh, but you might be useful, so... I'm keeping you. Was that a rat? I can talk to it. Come on. Let's go. Adventure awaits. Hey. Sky puppies. Damn. Your head throbs and your she still scares me. Visions rush past. A dragon swing. Shadow heart scares me too. And a flash of your face seen through the strange woman's eyes. Oh. My head. What is this? Skvar. You are no thrall. Vlakith blesses me this day. Together, we might survive. Okay, um... What made you think I was a thrall? We carry mind flayer parasites. Unless we escape, unless we are cleansed, our bodies and minds will be tainted and twisted. Within days, we will be geich, mind flayers. Um... We need to figure out where we are. We can do nothing until we escape. That must be our priority. First, we exterminate the ants. Then we find the helm and take control of the ship. As for that thing, it will remain tame as long as it believes we are thralls. It may be of use in the fight to come. Nice. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Gif! I don't know how to speak gif. Hataka! Just sounds like attack, but pronounced kind of funny. Okay, I feel like I've definitely killed these guys in one turn before. Um. Yeah, let's just shoot him. Yeah, I know focus fire and everything, but. Yeah, so. Okay. Chill. Do you have. Okay, so you don't have second one yet. Alright. Ha! Stupid imp. No, we're not punching it because we suck at punching. Oh, they might have weapons, actually. Do you, <laughs> you do have weapons? Ooh, a scimitar. I like scimitars. Hang on. Let me finish looting their bodies. Like that Tom Cardi song. Loot that body, loot that body. Do, 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 do. Oh, I'm not proficient. I'm proficient with hand axes. Imp. Money! That was loud. Um, 
Where are we going? Ooh, another dead guy. Why do all of these dead guys have money on them? I feel like that doesn't really seem like something a dead guy would just have. I wonder, can I dual wield the hand axes? I can! I'm gonna kick some butt now! They're called sky puppies, not dragons. Obviously. Okay, so I should actually probably do that. Um, so... I'm actually just gonna delete this whole campaign. I don't play it anymore. Delete. Cool. Now I think we'll be able to... No, not serious. New save. Yes. Let's go. To the next room! Who are you? The man isn't dead, but he's totally unresponsive. You're but one step from oblivion stupor yourself, still wading through your empty skull to think a single thought. Again, that's just how I feel on the daily. I don't trust that you're not gonna wake up. So I'm just gonna kill you. That sounds really aggressive. Okay, um... I'm also gonna kill you, because I don't trust. How did I miss? He's a dead guy, he's just lying there. How? I hear Shark yelling at me, but I don't care enough to care yet. Okay, what do you want? You! Get me out of this captain! We have no time for stragglers. Right, but she's a cleric. The construction is too alien. Nothing looks familiar. This ship is crashing. Do you intend to die for a stranger? I intend to help a healer. Try that contraption next to the pod. They did something to it when they sealed me in. Hurry! Please. Okay. The console appears dormant. Look for a switch or release. The mechanisms are completely unrecognizable at first. Then you spy an empty socket. I bet I've got to put something in the socket. Whatever fits in that socket. I've just like ripped the the thing off before. Through here? Hey, more dead people. Ooh, a key. Skrar. How many hosts of this gate infected? Seven. That's the immediate response to everything. Hey. Mmm. Sure. As you place your hand on the pod, you hear something. A presence connected to the pod. Commanding the person inside to change. Oh, shite. Hey. Gross. Change. Ew, it's slimy. We are not purified. This may be our fate. No thanks. That does not sound pleasant. Healing potions. This might have been these controls next to the wall. Let's go. Wait, can you pick up that dead guy? Oh, enough waiting. I crave blood. Oh. <gasps> 
<laughs> I'm just gonna carry around a dead guy now. Well, Lazelle is, but, you know. Let's go save Shark! console appears dormant. Insert the rune into the socket. The console hums to life. But what is its purpose? Will it free the captain? Or transform her like that other unfortunate? Arcana, take a closer look at the power of console. I have slightly above average intelligence. Damn. <laughs> in the appearance of the device betrays its purpose. It could do anything. Absolutely it could anything. Transform the occupant of the pod, like what happened before. Yeah, who cares? Might as well try it. Suddenly you feel a hideous squirming in your head. Oh, I hate how this is described. <laughs> then discomfort fades and the washes over you. Connection. Authority. Um, yeah, will the pod to open? We'll be fine as long as we don't roll a natural one, famous last words. Never mind! Sixteen, nice. Success. Feel the biomechanical brain of the console process your command. And yield to it. A shiver runs across your mind. You feel sated. I love this narrator's voice. Womp. Hey. I thought that damn thing was going to be my coffin. Thank you. Your mind lurches into her thoughts. Her gratitude is mixed with wariness. Because you have a gift with you. I didn't really have a choice. She just kind of showed up. Company. Got a problem with Githy Yankee? More that Gith have a problem with everyone else. But there's more important matters right now. Survival. Come on, you hungry? Let me come with eat? you. We can get off this ship and watch each other's backs along the way. Did you feel what I felt just before? We were in each other's heads. I did. It must be because of those parasites they put in us. But that'll have to wait. Are we going to help each other or not? All right, then let's get going. I'm Tav. Shadowheart. One moment. Hey, it's a D20. <laughs> What's it's that? Nothing. Trust me. It's a D20. We need to get to the helm now. Yeah, us has been yelling at me for that Leave for a while. Let's go. Which way? Oh, I didn't even open this chest yet. What's this? I'm gonna take the brain. Faint <laughs> images appear in your mind. A brain, a Githyanki warrior, and centuries of darkness. That's a long time. Centuries? Multiple hundreds of- that's- We don't need this yet. Okay, I- once inside, do as I say. Lazelle, your cutscene scares me. I'll trust my own judgment. Kenyank. I don't know what that means, but I expect it was insulting. The auto scenes keep scaring me. Hey. <laughs> That was surprising, to say the least. Hello, mind players. Psionic waves. Connect the nerves of the transponder. We must escape now. Do it. We will deal with the geek after we escape. Connect the nerves. Nerves. We will connect the 
nothing. Okay, us. Do you think we want to be here, my good sir? Okay. Nice. You got nothing. The only way out is through. Cool. Dead. One day I'll catch a break. And I doubt that day will be anytime soon because this is a video game, and you are the player character. Uh, might as well shield of faith her. Shield of faith her. Uh, so that there's less of a chance people attack her while she's running about. Run us, run! My path be true. Shoot him! Damn, he's got a lot of health. Why do you just have Mage Hand? Pew pew. I will give in. I have to press ahead. Pew pew again. Shadow Heart. Run! Heading there. Sky puppies. Hurry before they strike. Yeah. Ski. Where did these guys come from? I don't need to get everybody there, so I might as well just hit him. Mind flare blood. Gross. This is your end. Nothing important is ever easy. Don't waste a step. Yeah, I have. I'm great at gaming. Sky Puppy! This music is amazing. Bye, Sky Puppy. Bye, shark. The Nautiloid kind of looks like a giant snail mixed with an octopus. And a displacer beast, I guess. Wow, that's pretty. What are we, in the astral plane? Nice. Look, <laughs> it looks beautiful. Githyanki knights are gifted red dragon mounts as a part of the pact between the Gith, their first leader, le mm, leader and the evil goddess Tiamat. Ti 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 uh, the dragon lady. Hold R down in combat to enter tactical view. To leave this view, hold R up. Okay. Items can be traded as with the same ease as gold. Didn't have enough time to read that. <laughs> Items outlined in red- oh yeah, steal carefully. <laughs> That's- not don't steal, just make sure you don't get caught. 
Hello. Minthara and what's his face? Dr Dr or Ragslin, I think. War drum. You're gonna get a concussion. You got a concussion, I'm pretty sure. We got saved from major head trauma! Wow! I can't believe we got out of that situation without even minor head trauma. Okay, I think you that expected your memories to return once you were free of the mind flayer ship. But your past is still an aching void. Okay, you so find a way to remove the tadpole buried in your brain soon. Your future will be as blank as your past. You cannot wait to slice your way forth, seeking whatever wrought this tragedy upon you. Okay, so I think that I'm going to just like collect all of the companions and then probably end it. Oh, that's nice. Hey, more dead people. You got anything good? Money! Drinking the pungent corpse. I was not expecting this. Your mind has been cold and empty. Something stirs. With your hands close to this body, you know nothing of why, but you find a half smile flittering across your face. Um. Let's try to remember the last time I stood above a corpse. Why not? Hey! 3020! As soon as you delve into your mind, it is filled with flashes of a thousand different dead. Maybe I was a soldier. There is something unknown and unspeakable deep within your heart. It's sharp. Um, I don't want to be caught trying to steal her stuff, so I'm just gonna wake her up. Not a clue. Perhaps it was some dramatically timed divine intervention. The divine tend to keep their interventions close to the chest. So, I suppose it's not impossible. Do you have any idea where we are? No. I don't recognize this place. But anything's an improvement on where we just came from. Yeah, we were literally in hell. We need supplies, shelter, and most of all, a healer. You're a cleric. We have escaped, but we still have these little monsters in our heads. Uh, we? You want to stay we together. Other, and we both know what's at stake. Can't think of better company. Oh, that's nice. Alright, let's keep moving. Get moving. I know how to read. I think. One thing. Just before we go. I wanted to thank you again. For freeing me. It would have been all too easy for you to run right past my pod, but you didn't. I was tempted, but then I remembered I needed a healer. Lead the way. Let's go. And let's go loot more dead people. Ooh, a barrel. 
Now I have loot that body stuck in my head. Or perception check. I don't remember what it's called. I think it's called perception check. Have you ever seen that video? It's by Tom- Tom Cardi, I think that's his name. It's really funny. I'm taking everything because I'm playing on tactician and resting is annoying. We all row with the spray upon our necks. We all row with the spray upon our backs. And we all row with the sea beneath our feet. That's rude and the bitch queen stays the storm. That's mean. Wave mother, wave mother, lash us to the prow. Wave mother, wave mother, we ask to sail your skirt if you allow. Wave mother, wave mother, sink us if you will. Wave mother, wave mother, our skulls are yours with brine and sand to fill. Souls away and anchor still, the wind won't move without the bitch queen's will. We'll wait gladly years and days till the bitch queen brings the waves. Hey ho, she told us so. Hey ho, she told us so. That is an aggressive poem, <laughs> to say the least. Money and food, the only two things you need. Cool. I'm good at music. I do kind of feel bad for looting all these things off these dead people, but also... I need it, and they don't, because they're dead. More dead people! There's so many of you! How weird! It couldn't be because of the massive Mind Flayer ship that just crashed here. Money! Why is there so much money? Let's go! Shoot! Nice. Why do you already have damage taken? Ooh, there's a mind player up there. I bet I can loot his body. That's all I do. Loot bodies. Rah. Oh. Probably gonna cast Thunder Wave next time since they're all coming at me. Do you have Thunder Wave? No. Rah. Cool. Haha. -ha. Dumb. Fuck. Okay. There's gotta be a way to get all three of them. Yes, there is! Magic! And then I can offhand attack this guy. Nice. Rah. Shoot. I'm trying to refrain from swearing, even though I, you know, have already. Uh... I know you were talking, but level up. Let's go! Oh, nice! Song of Rest. Um... Sleep is pretty useful. Fairy fire is pretty useful. Feather fall is very useful. I'm gonna do feather fall. And then... Shadow heart. Oh, her wound was glowing. That's nice. Uh, yeah, that's good. Let's go. I feel like the uh, little brains, intellect devourers, that's what they're called, they never have interesting stuff on them. Can I go here, please? No hesitation. No hesitation. Nobody cares. Ooh, drow poison! Drow poison's good. Wee. Ooh, another dead guy. Do you have? <gasps> you do. Ooh, you have a lot of stuff. Damn. Dead kid's 
Ooh, a, sk a skull! Because that's just something you have. Actually, yeah, that is just something you have. What's up here? More dead guys! Why do the Mind Flayers have healing potions? Can't they, like, brain heal or whatever? Footprints. There may be even more that survived the crash. Oh, cool. Uh, they end right here, though, so... I don't think they're gonna be of much help. Looks unstable somehow. Let's get Gale, my least favorite of the companions. The sigil on the stone. Magic glitters and swirls from it erratically, as if malfunctioning. It looks slightly dangerous. Touch the sigil. Ow. Accurate, <laughs> accurate reaction. Hey. A hand? Anyone? Fantasize about hacking the hand off? No! I'm gonna slap his hand because I'm an asshole, but I'm not gonna. I'm not that mean! Perhaps I should have clarified. A helping hand. Anyone? Fine. Five, eight, nine, math. Let's get Gale. I hate him, but he's sometimes useful. <laughs> hey, man. You annoy me to no end. Oh. Hello. I'm Gale of Waterdeep. Apologies. I'm usually better at this. At introductions? At magic. Say, but I know you, don't I? In a manner of speaking. You were on the Norse Lloyd as well. You don't trust this man. Draw your weapon. Whoa! Easy does it. You really, really don't want to do that. Not a threat. Just an observation. And why would I really, really not want to attack you? Ten years of bad luck if you kill a wizard. Why take the risk? Because I don't like you. Much obliged. Besides, I suspect the real villain here is one we have in common. Back on the ship, you two were on the receiving end of a rather unwelcome insertion in the ocular region. Were you not? Couldn't have phrased it more repellently myself. No use sugarcoating it, is there? The insertee we speak of, this parasite? Are you aware that after a period of excruciating gestation, it will turn us into mind flayers? It's a process known as ceramorphosis, and let me assure you, it is to be avoided. You don't happen to be a cleric by any chance, do you? A doctor? Surgeon? Uncannily adroit with a knitting needle? Oh my god. <laughs> you seem to know enough about our condition to realize it's beyond most clerics' skills. Most, no doubt. But I find myself hoping to be in the presence of a few. You don't happen to be one of them. I'm a bard, sir. <laughs> I can tend to basic wounds and ailments, but alien parasites? I'm afraid not. As we've established, few enough can. It's not exactly a common affliction. We most certainly need a healer, and soon, too. <laughs> Record herself like such shit. Once more and look for a healer together. Sounds like a plan. You're welcome to join me. Most I friggin' hate parasite you, though. Is a parasite halved. Oh, but 
before you think you're about to embark on a journey with most ill-mannered a man, thank you for pulling me out of that stone. It's an act of foresighted kindness, I assure you. For I have the feeling ample opportunities will present themselves for me to return the favor. Hey, can you wait at camp? Magic, are you? What's on your mind? I just want you to leave me alone. I'll be in the camp then, idling away the hours. I don't care. I don't like you. Okay, yeah, what's over here? More dead things. Ooh. Nice. There. A mind flare. But it's hurt. I'm gonna kill it. That thing's bound to be dangerous, even if injured. You approach the dying monster. This is the thing that abducted you. You could end its life here and now. If only you didn't feel compassion. Compassion. No, you should be furious, shouldn't you? Yes, you feel hate, and you deserve to be punished for it. You should be whipped, made to bow before this creature in shame. It's possessing your mind, forcing you to love it, but then the feeling slips. The creature's mind seems to focus elsewhere. Concentrate on its thoughts. I'm not that smart, so I'm gonna add Shadow Hearts bonus. Oh, nice! I actually did it. Your mind's lusting for something that is gone. But then its grip claws back with a vengeance. A vice locking your mind into obedience. It needs sustenance to survive. And with your very body, you can provide. I like that Shadowheart's just watching this. Like, she doesn't care. She's just kind of here. Thank the gods. Goodness me. The monster lies exhausted, defeated. Its eyes, wet orange pearls, radiate malice. Close the eyes forever. Oh! I was expecting you to chop its head off, but I guess that works too. Monster, death is too good for it. Nice, that gave me inspiration for some reason. Wow, isn't it great being a psychopath? Oh my gosh. What's over here? This first bit of the map is honestly so confusing. I constantly get lost. Hey, are there more dead people down here? Eh. Nice. I hear boat noises. Or maybe I'm just mishearing things, but I thought I heard boat noises. Like a- like a foghorn? Is that what it's called? I don't know. How do you have nothing? I understand that you, like, might not have a lot, but how the hell do you have nothing? Even if you're like, just take the whole thing. Take the entire intellect of our. I heard someone yelling. Please, please come and help me. With what? Hurry, I've got one of those brain things cornered. In the grass. You can kill it, can't you? Like you killed the others? Kill it yourself. You look capable enough. I was hoping for a kind soul. Well, not to worry. 
Dude! Oh shit! I saw you on the ship, strutting about whilst I was trapped in that pot. What did you and those tentacled freaks do to me? I'm not with them. I'm not an idiot. I saw- ah! Your mind twists. You're looking out of unfamiliar eyes, prowling dark, busy streets. You try to hold the memory, but it fades to the worm. The light. The fear. <laughs> what was that? What's going on? It's the Mind Flayer's worm. It connected us. The worm. Of course. That explains things somewhat. And to think, I was ready to decorate the ground with your innards. <laughs> Apologies. Can't blame you. I was looking forward to seeing yours. Oh my god, that's so dark. <laughs> A kindred spirit. My name's Astarian. I was in Baldur's Gate when those beasts snatched me. I'm in quite the state, but I think I'm Tav. A pleasure. So, do you know anything about these worms? Uh, yes, unfortunately. They'll turn us into mind players. Into... <laughs> of course it'll turn me into a monster. What else did I expect? Although, it hasn't happened yet. If we can find an expert, someone that can control these things, there might still be time. <laughs> You should travel with me. Our odds are better together. No, I was ready to go this alone. But maybe sticking with the herd isn't such a bad idea. And you seem like a useful person to know. All right. I accept. Lead on. As he joins your side, your mind dances with thoughts of a perfect, pretty corpse. Tav is a psychopath. You have a manner of irresistible desperation about you. <laughs> I like it. Oh my gosh. Careful, I bet. Okay, so I'm going to level him up, find Lazel, and then probably end for tonight. Nice. He is the easiest character to level up. Dear Jesus. Where is Lazelle? I can't remember. I know that she was kidnapped, but that's pretty much all I can remember. I wish I could just walk over those rocks. That would be useful. Move that dead kid's body. Must have been here a while. <laughs> I like how a star in Naruto runs after you. That's pretty funny. Hey, look, a shovel. I hear shouting up ahead. We should check it out. But should we? Careful. Nice. I'm not ready for battle yet. Okay, so we've explored over here? No, not yet. I think Lazelle is over here. I wonder what happens if I just 
shoot this before interacting with the T-Flames. Oh shit, I didn't mean to start combat with you! Non-lethal, I don't want to hurt these guys. I did not mean to do that. I'm so sorry. Yeah, you're both ranged, so I'll just go up next to you and give you disadvantage on attacking me. My face will protect me. On the move. On the move. Uh, guiding bolt. Oh, damn. I did not mean to kill her. Uh, whoopsie. Please don't kill him. Thank you. I do a sneak attack. No? Why? Like fun. Rah. How? No choice but to keep going. Breathe deep and move. This mint whispers. Good. He's not dead. Thank the friggin' gods. Shoot. Um. 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 Throw your mace? Nice! Please don't kill him! Thank the gods! Okay... Can you just, like... Don't kill him, please! I don't want to kill him. Let's finish this. Your time has come. Can I please just knock him out? Well, the tadpole hasn't yet scrambled all your senses. Auspicious. But the longer we wait, the more it consumes. My people possess the cure for this infection. I must find a crash. You will join me. Careful. She obviously sees your kindness as weakness. Don't let her take advantage. She's not taking advantage, she's useful. A simple thank you wouldn't go amiss. You may as well suggest a wyvern bow to worms. That's a little rude. Offer will suffice as thanks. And what exactly is a crash? It is many things. A hatchery. A training grounds. Wait, Githyanki lay eggs? Githyanki protocol is clear. When infected with a gay tadpole, we must report to Augustil for purification. Y'all like GH words. Alright. have made an ally from Kresh Kalir. Few know such fortune. Shadowheart, shut up. I'll trust your judgment, but I won't trust her. Not until I've gotten the measure of her. Why do you trust me? Tongue, elf. Would that your mind proved its equal. <laughs> Half elf. I suppose the finer details are lost on a creature like you. Damn. Come. The horned ones mentioned a camp. One there, this Zoru, has seen Githyanki. A crash must be near. We will ask this Zoru where he has seen my kin. Okay, we're gonna just camp and then. Okay, I'll level up Lazelle. We're gonna camp and then I'm going to end. For today. This evening. Tonight. What? Tonight. Yeah. It's late. Lazelle and Shadowheart scare me so much. Like, they 
honestly terrify me. That dead kid's body. What? Is pinging? Oh, the traveler's chest. Chest. A monster forms inside us. And you think to be idle. I knew your kind to be fragile. But I didn't foresee the severity. Oh my god. We must locate a crash. We need to pace ourselves. Don't you know an exhausted warrior is an ineffective one? A thick headed notion in a complex circumstance. We need sleep to be people. The parasites inside us dare to rest. That the Geich do not still pursue us with each peal of the bell. What bell? Take your rest. I will stand watch. Okay. Should a single tentacle split your skull, I will not hesitate to end you. I trust you about as far as I can throw you, which isn't far because my strength is eight. Your gift friend seems on edge. Mustn't relish the thought of sprouting tentacles. Understandable. Can't say I'm a fan either. It's just hard to join in when all of this feels so new. The night normally means bustling streets, bursting taverns. Curling up in the dirt and resting is, um, a little novel. Give it a try. We'll need to be fresh for tomorrow. <laughs> I'm in no place to rest yet. Today has been a lot. I need some time to think things through. To process this. You sleep. I'll keep watch. How many of you are keeping watch? The pleasure is all mine. Sweet dreams. That sounds real creepy, man. You gonna say something? Go to hell. Rude. <laughs> Watch your damn mouth! Hold your horses. I'm just poorly making a point. Go to hell. An everyday expression. So trivial it's almost meaningless. But we've seen hell. It's real. And it isn't trivial. Watch the flames in Devils, silence. Dragons, mind flayers. They used to be abstracts. Pictures on a piece of paper. What a difference a day makes. Now we have tadpoles slithering through our heads like carnivorous feti. Gross. <laughs> That's not abstract. I'm not too worried we can find someone who can help us. Perhaps you should get some rest. Brooding will get us nowhere. Action will. What can I say that but we're right. We're deep in you know what. Yeah. Point well made. I see. I'll wake you bright and early. We'll need to find a healer before the wee one gets hungry. The wee one! <laughs> God. Doing the rounds, are you? You'd better get some rest. I'm just trying to talk to all of you. What were you two talking about? You and that Gith Yankee. <laughs> I could just straight up lie to her. If that was any of your business, we'd we'd have called you over. Your business is mine. We're entwined, thanks to this. If we're to survive, the cheese queen shall reign. Trust each other. You seem reliable. I think you know how important it is that we find someone who can cure us. Best if we focus on that. Agreed. The sooner we find someone to help us, the better. It's late, we can talk about this in the morning. Let's not abandon all caution. This is unfamiliar territory. Caution is a luxury we don't have. What? Is the story an eavesdropping? Person. Why does he approve? Time to sleep, I guess.
Good. No one tried to kill anybody overnight. That's wonderful. Uh, I think I'm going to end now, so I'm going to actually turn off non-lethal damage first. But uh, see you all later. How do I end this? Oh my gods.